Hey, welcome back everybody. It is now September 10th of 2021. Now, ever since, of course, the very end of the Bad Batch Season 1, a lot of fans are already looking forward to Season 2. And exactly what's to come by Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni with their new Star Wars TV shows for Disney Plus that they are currently working on as we speak. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, I am on Twitter at MikeZero1 if you guys want to go ahead and check me out on there. I do post a couple of entertaining things from time to time and actually do initiate, you know, a lot of fun subjects on there. So, moving on forward from this point, you know, a lot of fans are looking forward to the Book of Boba Fett's official trailer, which, by the way, in case you guys did not know, that is all set and ready to drop by this October. They're looking at early to mid-October to drop the trailer of the Book of Boba Fett, making it around roughly two months before the release of the actual series come December 21st, if I'm correct. I believe that's the day of December 21st when the show actually releases. On top of that, they're also planning for a Kenobi series teaser by this November. So, guys, everything after September is going to be a very exciting time for teases and a lot of surprises for Star Wars before the Book of Boba Fett drops on Disney+. Plus. So, with filming now complete for the Kenobi show, and of course, them getting ready to begin filming for The Mandalorian Season 3... That's just the beginning of the entirety of the Mandoverse. They're trying to make it as expansive as possible. And like I say, you know, TV shows are almost like books, that they're that expansive. They can really explore the characters in depth. They can go on many different journeys for the character and so on and so forth. So what's really intriguing has everything to do with what Disney CEO Bob Chapek is planning to unveil over at Star Wars Celebration and what's happening with the new movies right now. So with The Bad Batch Season 2 now in the works by Lucasfilm, they are also in the process of developing The Mandalorian Season 3 that is set to bring a drastic change to the Mandoverse and will serve as the true beginning of the new Star Wars universe. However, it's described that Disney CEO Bob Chapek is set to make major announcements both at Star Wars Celebration and during the month of November that will in fact unveil the new roadmap of the franchise. Now, a part of all of this roadmap is said to be the fourth Star Wars trilogy that is actually set to take Star Wars in a different direction by adding on actor Keanu Reeves, who is currently involved in the Matrix Resurrections. The fourth trilogy is set to take place before the events of the prequel trilogy and is set to focus on a dark side oriented family known as the Royal Sith Family. The new films are set to actually star Keanu Reeves and Gal Gadot, or Gadot, uh, not quite sure how it's pronounced, but from Wonder Woman, of course, as the Sith Princess, with Jennifer Connelly set to portray the Sith Queen in the new movies. Now, this is actually set to be teased over at Star Wars Celebration of 2022, and are completely separate from the other films by Taika Waititi, Kevin Feige, and Patty Jenkins. Now, the films are actually set to use many of George Lucas's original ideas for the prequel trilogy and many elements from the Old Republic era. The new trilogy will hold deep ties and connections to the Old Republic timeline, as Disney is planning to use the Old Republic in the form of live action as a Star Wars TV show in the near future. Actor Keanu Reeves is said to have had ongoing conversations with Lucasfilm over the past two years about his role as King Valar of Exegol. The series wants to take the tragedy instead, of course, the light side, but of course turning things over to the dark side and who falls to the light as a loss. Now, Gal Gadot is actually set to portray a Sith princess that will deal with poles to the light as the Sith King initiates a new war that fans have never heard, seen or heard before, both in canon and Legends material. These new movies are actually set to be large-scale, actually borrowing the style from Lord of the Rings and that Lucasfilm is planning to shoot them back-to-back. Now, actress Jennifer Connelly is set to portray the Sith Queen and will also hold deep ties to the Old Republic era as well. 
However, they are unsure if they want to release these in theaters or on Disney Plus as a platform. With Disney and Lucasfilm trying their best to bring Star Wars back to its roots, through the vision of George Lucas, they also want to create something new and original for large-scale movies. This new era is currently dubbed as the Forbidden Era, and is set to actually hold dark side secrets and origins in the unknown regions of the Force and the entire galaxy that will be explored giving fans a different view of the Sith and their belief system. Now, Keanu Reeves is best described to also be in the talks for more Matrix films after Resurrections, and that Lucasfilm is working out with the dates on these new movies and when to begin filming those films that will explore the new dark era and explore the dark side family that fans will witness in the near future. So we talked about this a couple of months ago. We haven't really heard much since then, but there are a lot of changes happening over at Lucasfilm right now, at least for what's going on with TV shows and the like, and how they want to expand the timeline of movies. They want to go beyond of what Patty Jenkins, Kevin Feige, and of course what Taika Waititi are all working on. So in case you guys are out of the loop, uh, Patty Jenkins of Wonder Woman, is working on the Rogue Squadron movie. Then you have Kevin Feige and Taika Waititi working on two mystery movies. But these new movies, this fourth trilogy if you will, is going to be its own separate thing. Most likely filling in the gaps in between these new Star Wars movies that are set to be released in the near future. Now Patty Jenkins is getting ready to begin filming her new movie by next year in 2022 and we're going to be learning more about the fourth trilogy over at Star Wars Celebration of 2022. So that's another reason why I think a lot of fans are looking forward to what's to come for Celebration is that it's going to have a lot of surprises, a lot of unveils, a lot of unexpected reveals and I think that's going to be probably the best Star Wars Celebration that we are going to get in all time really so when we go ahead and dive deeper into all of this if you guys take a close look at the world of exegol and i've mentioned this before in the rise of skywalker that throne that palpatine sits on that's not his that is actually king valar's that is the specific character that they will be exploring in this new star wars trilogy so it is going to have light ties very loose ties i should say to the sequel trilogy movies. Very, very loose. It's not even going to be all that big of a deal for those of you that are upset with the sequel movies, other than the fact that a lot of it will take place on the world of Exegol, showing us the infancy of the world of Exegol. And that, to me, I think is very intriguing because it's going to deal with a lot about the Sith, the secrets of the dark side, the origin of the galaxy, and more. Again, this is dubbed as the Forbidden Era and is separate from the Old Republic Era, but it's going to hold deep ties, very close connections to the Old Republic Era. And this character, King Valar, is said to be the character that actually uses the power of Essence Transfer and is the very first Sith Lord to actually have perfected it. We're going to be learning more about King Valar next year in new comics and books, so keep your eyes open at Celebration because they're going to be unveiling new books and comics that have to do with that character exclusively. So that to me is all the more surprising is that they're going to be teasing this character in lore before the actual movies drop themselves. So anyways, guys, you know, let me know what you think about Keanu Reeves entering into the universe. We already see, you know, actors and actresses, for example, you know, we have, of course, um, other, you know, big A-list actors joining not just Star Wars, but also Marvel. Angelina Jolie is now a part of the MCU. Who would have ever thought? And now they're doing the same exact thing with other A-list actors, such as, of course, you know, Keanu Reeves. Some would say that he's not an A-list, some would say he's B-list, but I kind of beg to differ. But anyways, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know anything about all this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.